Hello everyone, I'm Mulwa Kemi Ugwakeze and welcome to today's episode on the Worship Leader Series. The topic we're considering today is keep the fire burning, keep the fire burning. And I would love to read from the book of Revelation chapter 3 and from 15 to 16. The Almighty God says, I know all the things you do that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other, but since you are like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. You see, no matter how beautiful a life is, no matter how skillful the person is, if such life is cold, the enemy will relax and feast on it. But when you are out for God, the devil cannot touch you. And many times they attempt to maintain a, to maintain a balance between being out for God and also not to miss out from the things happening around gives room to being a lukewarm Christian. And God is not interested in such a life. So what does it mean to be out for God as a minister of the gospel? Number one, it starts from identifying things that do not align with the kingdom principles. Because you cannot love God and love the word at the same time. First John chapter 2, 15 to 16 says, Love not the word, neither the things that are in the word. If any man love the Lord, love the word, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So the loss of the flesh talks about wicked desires, personal and selfish ambitions, you know, things that war against the spirit, inability to fast, inability to pray, inability to study the word of God. Then the loss of the eyes talks about the desire to acquire all the things that you set your eyes on material possessions and what you watch also has the power to create an imagination that forms your behavior then the pride of life talks about being arrogant of one's position one's possession one's achievement then treating others with contempt number two to be all for god means to be all out for him in obedience reading from the book of luke chapter 6 and 46 the passion translation what good does it do for you to say I am your Lord and master if you don't put into practice what I teach you let me describe the one who truly follows me and does what I say is like a man who chooses the right place to build a house and then lays a deep and secure foundation when the storms and floods rage against the house it continues to stand strong and unshaken through the tempest for he built it wisely on the right foundation to be out for God also means to put your service above convenience. According to a great man of God, Bill Johnson, in his book, Also in the Presence, he says, Sacrifice and convenience cannot coexist. Absolutely. Service is not the same as activity. <laughs> that I learned from my husband. He says that service is not. And service talks about your commitment to a cause. Your service or commitment to God and his work wouldn't be a thing of convenience, but comes with a choice to be loyal to him, to be under his influence, and to remain connected to God. So what does it mean to keep burning? Or how do I keep burning? How do I keep the fire burning? This is what we're going to look into in our next episode. How to keep the fire burning. So till we come in our next episode, remain rooted, remain planted, and remain connected. God bless you.